All right, guys, here we are for match 39 of the Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 AI Tournament Season 5. Okay, so on top we have Aquilae and on bottom we have Smithson. Okay, to introduce the teams, we have for Aquilae, Sam the Knight, Mark the Knight, Mary the Samurai, and Cindy the Priest up against Smithson's team, which comprises of Kane the Lancer, Cockney, Samurai, Ajantal the Ninja, and Ka-ching, bling bling, the Summoner, yeah. One thing to note, the ninja, the samurais on each of their teams, they both have time magic and most of the draws, so they're pretty similar in quite a few ways. And these two are almost exactly identical. Summon magic, white magic, just rolls are different. This one does more damage. She's got a hell of a lot more MP. This one has one extra point of speed, and she's got short charge, and she's got float, so she is immune to earth slash. From these dudes. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna go on to a relatively large map. Zaklas Desert. Oh man. It's a large map, so we're gonna have to have to sit and wait this one out. Prediction. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go for the underdog Smithson. A lot of people are probably gonna pick Aquile. I'm gonna go for the underdog underdog Smithson. And low percent hastes. I think they're like 65%. I think. Yeah, double miss. Ouch. That was like a 65% each, respectively. So a 1 in 9 chance of that happening, in essence. Two misses in a row. Uh, I was going to say something else, but I don't exactly remember what. Uh, yeah, don't remember. Okay, that's fine. Dragon Spirit triggering onto him. Okay, Kaching is gonna go do a Cyclops. Oh, you know what? There's another thing that kind of puzzled me. I'm gonna have to go test it out sometime and see if it's working. But okay, that was 475 damage from that two-sworded knight. The samurai is still alive. Kiku's messing them up big time, anti-sandbag, and Ackley's kicking ass right now as far as I'm concerned. One thing I gotta test out is... I gotta go check and see if... I, I don't know if, uh, if the float... If, if the new feature to float has been implemented. Basically, what's supposed to happen is if your unit is floating, they're twice as susceptible to wind elemental base damage. See, like, all right, I, I know that's a KO, but like, why is it that it only did 90 damage from the air knife? The air knife is wind elemental. If you're floating, you take twice as much. I think you take twice as much damage from wind attack. So why didn't she deal like 180 damage instead of 90? Because I'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to happen. I mean, it is a wind elemental attack. So I, I could be wrong though. I haven't looked at the changes for 1.3038. I know that was in one of the older versions. I don't know if it's still existent in this one, but I'm, I'm inclined to believe so. Charm misses both times. So actually it looks like Smithson has made a quick recover. No, not really. He hasn't made a recovery. If Kaching can take down that night, it's, uh, it'll even out the playing field. But that's not the scenario right now. 180 damage onto him. Mark is going to go Phoenix down. Haste missing is because it was targeted on a panel like an idiot. The AI should at least be smart enough to uh, target the haste on a unit, not a panel. They're idiots for doing that, but you can't help it. 156 damage. It's a two. It's a it's a two on four with one one in the one in a corner in essence. So it's really up to the Lancer to solo, and I doubt he's gonna do it. So as far as I'm concerned, Aquile's gonna take this round. Yep. All that's left is that abandoned defensive ninja, which isn't really gonna do anything because an HP restore and Kiku. All right. I think that was 300 damage or something. Whatever. Okay. I'll see you guys for round two. Yep. And here we are for map 23. Yep. Beilu Residence. Okay. So this is where Tata gets kidnapped. I remember the comment I was going to say in the beginning of round one. 
For Aquile, his units, Gemini Sagittarius, they have best worst compat with one another, the males and females on the on the team. 60% only for 65 damage. But it looks like a double panel slower stop is being casted. Double panel slow, it misses. Holy shit goes off. Does 77 due to low faith. 24% hits. Is that a double? Uh, one's in critical and then the KO to both the mages. So the tanks are the only two up. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, Smithson's got the advantage right now. And he went through both uh, shields. Or he went through both. It went through the shield both times. So pretty good job. The summons fucked it all up. 220 damage. Yep, he's a magic attack up. And it's up to this one knight, and I highly doubt one knight can take them all take them all out. And a double panel haste missed it missed once again, so. Ah, oh, she did get butt fucked though. Oh, double guard because of abandon. Yep, in defense up. We're going to round three then. That was a pretty quick round. I'll see you guys for round three. Yep. Okay, what the hell? Uh, how in God's green earth did I get this map three times in a row? I, I've done the round threes with this map three times at the very minimum. So, jeez, I'm getting bad luck or something. But I can, I, I, I don't know, I'm going to have to check or something. I'll probably put it in the description saying, oh, this map's going to, this is the last time this map occurs because I have it all organized, like the order. So I just have to go to control find in my Microsoft Word document and type in the info. Hey, right, sorry for not coming to you. I had to get that spit out. Uh, Aquilae's in the lead right now, so... Yeah. The Summoner, if she were to get, like, a Cyclops off, I think it would have been the other way around. Namir is same, and I don't know it's Shiva. Nah, barely saved his ass. Okay. Way fist on him. Yep, Smithson is gonna go do nothing. Charm, 36%, once again misses. If Kaching bling bling was to, uh, if she were to have done like a Cyclops right off the get go, putting like two down and one in critical like last round, yeah, I think he would have won. HP restore, so all that damage was for naught. Shiva casted once again, mirror same. Okay. I don't know why he healed up his part, healed up the enemy team. Oh, because. He doesn't want to get the Lancer hurt from Shiva. All right. Cyclops, is that going to go off? Probably not. Nope. Another 495 damage. I don't remember the numbers exactly. Kier 3 is being casted from the priest onto herself. It's probably going to hit... Yep, it's going to hit the samurai. So good job on her part. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm giving this one the accolade. Triple panel Kiku, shit. <laughs> Lancer, the primary damage. Yep, this is over. Yep, so you're going to be moving on to round three Aquilae pretty soon. It's just a matter of time, and wow, she double turned. Amazing. Kikus are going to fuck him up. 31%, nope. Agenta, she's going to do 54% miss. And 240% chance is hit. All right, Kiku, or Asura, and that ought to do it. Okay, Aquilae, you're gonna be moving on to round three. Smithson, you're gonna descend into the bowels of the underworld. GG, both of you.